Cigarclub.com, the first ever intelligent cigar subscription. Also, an official sponsor for Raw and Real TV. YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another banger. Oh man, it's a bittersweet moment for me and Eric over here at Ron Real TV, man. Uh, good news is, you guys are tuned in, or tuned in to the championship match for the first ever Cigar Madness. Bad news is, this tournament's got to end. So, but uh, at, with that being said, man, uh, a lot of emotions running through my head right now. Just been a very good tournament, just kind of cool to see the idea completely go from imagination to reality. And this has been uh, nothing short of spectacular for me. I've been enjoying it, even though I'm the content creator. I've been enjoying this tournament the whole time. Today, we're gonna be looking at a number one seed versus a number four seed in this championship matchup. We have the number four seed, the Aganorsa Leaf Signature Selection, going up against the number one seed, the Padron 1926 80th Anniversary. Both Nicaraguan Piros. It's just kind of crazy that Nicaragua is coming down to the to the nitty gritty and to uh, decide who's the first ever Cigar Madness champion. But um, hey, man, the show must go on. So you guys hang tight, stay tuned. We're gonna get at this championship. This is how number one C should perform. This thing is a beast of a cigar. Just unbelievable performance by Padron. Unbelievable. I expect another one so you know. I'm just captivated and just amazed by how the drone is able to hone in on such intense, full flavors, but at the same time, they're able to keep it so smooth. To me, this is Nicaragua's best. definitely was the better cigar today. Far more complex, far more uh, enjoyment from the flavors, just an overall better experience. All right, you guys, final two cigars of Cigar Madness, man, and then there were two. Started out with 16 cigars total, had some representation from all over the world. Uh, it's been quite the journey. We've had anything you could think of. As I've said before, we've had close battles, a lot, a lot of close battles. We've had some blowouts. We've had some upsets from some four C's. We've had some one C's pressing through like everybody thought they would. It's just been uh, quite the battle. I've had quite a lot of fun filming this and I can only tell you guys that this is gonna only get better and better as the years are progressing and you know, uh, ideas and stuff are flourishing and, and things like that, the channel changes. So really looking forward to this. We will uh, smoke the Aganorsa first and then we'll smoke the number one seed, the Padron last. And we'll, at the end of this video, you guys will know who, uh, who won the first ever Cigar Madness tournament. So if you've been keeping up with it, I'm not gonna give a whole huge spiel about these cigars. This is the Bellicoso Vitola, which is a six and a fourth by 52 ring gauge, Nicaraguan Puro out of Aganorsa, obviously. So we'll go ahead and cut it up and light it, man. Not really much coming off the body. Foot's kind of like a musty hay on it. Neat cap on this one. I think all of you have been enjoying the tournament style and the uh, kind of the clashing of the two cigars concept. So, you know, me and Eric have been sitting around talking and we definitely want to keep the, the energy and the momentum going all year long. So Cigar Madness will be a thing that starts in March every year. 
I decided to do a summer showdown, which will be sometime in the summer. Haven't decided on a time frame yet, but we'll be just only doing eight cigars and all the cigars in that tournament will be $10 and under cigars for, for my people out there that want a little bit more budget-friendly uh, cigars, some more budget-friendly content. So going to touch in on that. And then uh, we got a, got a few things planned for the fall too. So I'm really excited to see where the channel's going. want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreons out there. Uh, again, I just want to give a huge shout out to all my Perfecto family out there. Everybody that's just been really supportive of me from day one. A lot of uh been noticing a lot of new subscribers a lot of new comments from people it's uh it's been really great and really awesome to see how well things have been going uh looking at now it's it's the 12th so in a couple days i don't know when you guys will be seeing this but i'll be right at eight months with the channel being alive and i'm telling you guys if if, if i never would have thought in my wildest dreams the channel would have been where it is today you know in eight months I, I really didn't think it was gonna grow that fast so again i want to say thank you to all you guys for y'all being so receptive of me and uh encouraging i've gotten a lot of dms a lot of emails a lot of this stuff isn't going unnoticed y'all and right, we'll leave it lit see if we can get this candle lit Good clean earth, black peppers coming in about a seven and a half. Good cinnamon hit on that too. Light brown sugar. All right. Very good start. Very good flavors popping off this Aganor. So draws really well. So, man, uh, burn issues aside or anything like that, this should be a really good matchup against this Padron, man. So you guys hang tight. I'm going to let the cigar get heated up a little bit, come back, let you guys know if any changes or anything like that. Body, strength, flavor, you know all that good stuff. So y'all hang tight and stay tuned. All right, so we're making our way through this first third incredible cigar so far. The transitions and the complexity of this thing, I think, are really, really underrated. Just a, a lot's changed in a little bit of the cigar that I've smoked. I've probably been smoking now for about 30 minutes and about right about a little bit over 30 minutes for as far as the first third which is a great burn time on this thing too started out with that clean earth black pepper got some nice cinnamon a little bit of light brown sugar that black peppers died off a little bit it's still a good good balance of black pepper but now the cedar has uh become more dominant and then before the cedar came around you still had a, a really nice nuttiness quality to it you got a little bit of caramel in there a little bit too just the flavors are really nice good good transitions good good complexity so far again i think this is a, a cigar that anybody that's been smoking for a little bit of amount of time would enjoy it this isn't a cigar that necessarily like a um a veteran would own or this is not only a veteran only cigar i feel like as a veteran smoker or somebody that has a little bit more experience you'll be able to appreciate the nuances and the in the change ups a little bit more but i think anybody will be able to recognize this is a, a very good cigar though i get that question a lot of times people are always trying to uh ask me of cigars to reference for sweetness and you know you guys know i don't really dabble with infused cigars so a lot of those people that are transitioning from infused cigars to more traditional cigars they're looking still for a little bit of sweetness this is a good cigar for that uh, you guys have heard me mention like the La Kareem by Crown Heads. There's a couple other ones too that they give you that good natural sweetness and this is uh, very good. Performance burn line draw has been perfect on this one too, which in the last um, matchup that this had, the burn issues were, it still didn't keep it from winning, but the burn issues kind of hindered the points. Doesn't look like this one's going to have any problems in either category. Right now, I'm going to say, even as of right now, the cigar is medium to full as far as body and flavor. Probably a textbook medium. As far as strength, I can tell it's, it's, it's gonna creep up a little bit, but as you guys know, I like that slow, gradual, creepy, or creepiness, the gradual in increase of strength on that. So we're gonna keep on smoking through this second, third, let you guys know if any other changes or anything like that. So, so far, uh, very good performance. If it keeps up like this, the Padron is definitely gonna have a tough time taking this over. So you guys hang tight, stay tuned. We'll be back in the second, third. All right, finish it up in the second, third, probably, Good, good smoke time on this. About an hour into the cigar, still got probably another 30, 40 minutes easy. 
Uh, this one, I'm still gonna say the body is medium to full, leaning towards full, flavors are medium to full, and the strength is probably low side of medium to full too. The earth and the cedar is probably the dominant flavors right now. You're getting a little bit of a bacon spice on that retro hill. Still get a nice good little sweetness on there, like a little bit of a cinnamon, light brown sugar on there. Still a very enjoyable cigar, still super complex. Another thing too, before I, normally you guys know I eat before episodes and stuff like that, knowing that I'm gonna smoke two back-to-back -back cigars. But with this and the steaks that are at, the steaks that are to be claimed today, I just wanted to come in with a fresh palate. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to have anything on my, any uh, food on me to make anything alter any taste or anything like that. So I wouldn't recommend that, you know, if you're normally just smoking these cigars for your just regular enjoyment, any kind of pleasure or anything like that, I would definitely recommend putting something nice and solid on your stomach. I'm not a professional or anything like I've said before, but I've had, I have a lot of experience with stronger cigars. So for me, I'm, I'm comfortable where I am right now, but uh, excellent, excellent showing. I've just been more impressed with the performance as opposed to like on the uh, the last matchup it had, which the flavors and everything was there, but I'm feeling now that my palate is definitely clean on this one. I'm getting a lot more nuances on this one and it's completely high remarks on this. I, I could definitely believe that the tobaccos in this blend are seven years old as they state. Of course, you guys know that this uh, cigar features half a leaf of Medio Tiempo in the blend. Just a very refined experience. You, this is a again i'll say this is a cigar that anybody can appreciate but definitely the the people that have more seasoned palettes will be able to appreciate the complexity and just the the little nuances that you're getting that's just overall tying this cigar together and making it a very enjoyable very palatable experience so we'll uh keep on going smoke through this last third give you guys some points so y'all hang tight and stay tuned all right so still smoking through this cigar but flavors are still pretty consistent right now Pretty comfortable with where I'm gonna score this cigar. I've been performing excellent. Flavors and complexity have been in the utmost high regard. So we'll go ahead and score this one. Very, very good showing by Aganorsa as should be expected championship match. Cigars gotta perform and this one is. So if we're looking at the flavor, I gave the flavor 18 out of 20. Not, not gonna be the most flavorful cigar in the world, but a very, very good amount of flavor good amount of intensity never had uh, flavors were very easy to pick out not like some cigars i've smoked in the past where you could kind of get the flavors but you're, you're just searching for the intensity no problem here nice refined good smooth flavors nice long uh finish in the in the finish also is very clean so 18 out of 20 for the flavor the draw i gave the draw a 20 out of 20 no issues from start to finish the burn had, or the uh, the burn is a 20 out of 20 as well. Never had to do any relights, any touch-ups, anything like that. Very good performance. Gave the complexity a 18 out of 20, especially in that the first three fourths of that cigar. Transitions were very nice. You got a lot of good different flavor notes, things taking over in dominance, things like that. Very very pleased with this. And I gave the strength a 17 out of 20, which is going to give this Agonorsa overall a 93 out of 100. Very very good showing very pleased with this this padron will, will have his work cut out for it so we got to hope that this padron is going to be on his a game to make this match close too so uh we'll go ahead and scoot over to the padron smoke through it and we'll crown a champion so y'all hang tight all right so before we get into this padron i forgot to mention about the agonorsa the body of that cigar ended up around full still medium to full as far as flavor and strength so just wanted to go ahead and put that out there now we'll be smoking the number one seat the padron 1926 80th anniversary Again, aesthetically pleasing cigar to look at. It's one of the best looking cigars I've seen. It's just just remarkable how Padron uh, puts these cigars together with very minimal veins and just it's just a very nice, neat looking cigar. Kind of like a, a, a dusty, like a dusty, musty kind of smell to it. Tight invisible seams on this one. Has some a little bit of tooth present. Very nice pointed head, taper foot, just a really nice cigar. This cigar measure, measures in at six and three fourths by 54, but of course it's not gonna look like a regular 54 ring gauge being box press, like 99.9% uh, .9 of the, to, or 99.9% .9 of the Padrones are box press, so. At least in their family reserve line. Cold draw is kind of wood. A little faint tobacco sweetness on it. 
Draws a, feels a little snug, but again, it did that the last time, but when it opened up past the bulb, the draw was fine, so we'll see how that goes. All right, man, this draws a little tight. Hopefully it opens up. Pretty good earth hit on it. Black pepper. Has that clean, like clean mineral earth flavor to it. And black pepper, that's, that's pretty much what's standing out. All right, like I said, the draw is a little tight. We'll see how see how it goes when it gets past this bulb. So you guys hang tight and stay tuned. I'll let you give you guys an update here shortly. All right, we're working our way through this first third. Good news is once it got past the bulb, the draw has opened up to become a lot better. It's still not perfect. I'm, I'm still having to draw a little bit harder than, than normal with these cigars, but it's still a good draw. I would say the body is medium to full already flavors are medium to full and right now there's not any strength be really being detected i'd say right at this moment probably a good uh textbook medium so flavors that i'm finding right now i'm getting a nice uh cocoa sweetness there's still a nice earth good earth taste there black pepper is definitely there and a little bit of a cinnamon too those those are the flavors that are really sticking out to me so we'll just uh keep on smoking see if anything changes up anything like that so you guys hang tight, we're gonna get up into the second third and I'll let y'all know what I got. All right, so we're making our way through the second third. A lot of the same flavors. The cocoa note, the sweetness of the cocos kind of went away mostly now. You're still mostly getting a lot of black pepper. There's still a good black coffee, black coffee note in there and probably more along the lines of like an oak wood. Definitely full bodied right now. Medium to full on flavor and I would say low side of medium to full on strength. So. Other than that, no real uh, changes or anything like that, but still very enjoyable. Classic Padron performance. Uh, the draw, like I said, the draw is good, but it's still I'm still having to pull a little harder than I would like to get smoke production, even though the you can see here the smoke is flowing off of the, the foot of the cigar, but the draw has just been a little tight, and that's just because I've smoked so many of them, so I'm kind of used to, to knowing how the draw should be, and it's a little bit a little bit tighter than I'd like, but other than that, everything is going really good on this cigar. So we'll uh, smoke through, get through the rest of this cigar, come up with some points and see who's the champion. All right, so we're getting through this last third. Pretty, pretty safe with scoring the cigar. Definitely still full body, medium to full on flavors. And I would say the strength is a very good medium to full. Definitely probably by the time I end up finishing this cigar, it'll be at that full point. Uh, strength is not alarming, but again, this isn't a cigar I would give somebody that's new or somebody that doesn't have any experience with medium to full, full body, full strength cigars. This is a definitely more, this would be more for your veteran smokers or people that are more comfortable with uh, stronger cigars. Very good flavor profile. The draw is still, it still remained a little tight like it has the whole time, like, uh, like I mentioned before. No, no new flavors or anything. The cocoa note never came back like it was in that first third. So we'll go ahead and score this and see what we got. All right, so for flavor, I gave it an 18 out of 20. Pretty good flavors on this thing too, as normal Padron always has no problems with flavor intensity, flavor issues. Gave the draw a 20 out of 20, the burn a 19 out of 20. I'm sorry, correction. The draw was a uh, 19 out of 20. Like I said, it, was, it never was bad, but it was a little tighter than I would like, especially smoking a lot of these cigars. It wasn't as fluent as most of the ones I've smoked in the past. I gave the burn a 20 out of 20. No relights, no touch-ups, anything like that. Been perfect the whole time. Gave the complexity a 17 out of 20. Not a lot of flavor shifts, a dominance, anything like that, like in the Agonorsis case. And I gave the strength a 18 out of 20. Really nice, nice strength hit on that. Not, nothing uncomfortable. Gonna give this score overall of a 92 out of 100. So you guys know what that means. The Agonorsis, the number four seed, is officially the first winner of cigar madness 2020 congratulations to the agonorsa leaf signature selection very very good performance again this padron it hurts me to say that because you guys know i love padron cigars but smoking these two cigars today the agonorsa's flavors and complexity again just shined a little bit brighter than that padron so hey that's the way it goes sometimes it's unfortunate that the number one c had to go down but at least it made it to the championship round but i just think it got outbeat today by the better cigar today. 
so with that being said you guys thank you again for tuning in to the first official cigar madness it's gonna be bigger and better next year we're gonna have so many more different cigars probably will try to end up bringing back the Aganor. So i'll try each year to bring back the winner from last year and put it in the tournament for the future and um really really excited hope you guys have been enjoying watching as much as i've enjoyed filming and creating so with that being said you already know the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment and y'all already know to be driven never motivated again congratulations to agonorsa thank you guys again double r army shout out to all of y'all we're gonna catch y'all next year on cigar madness otherwise i'll catch y'all on the next review we'll hang tight catch y'all on the next one